Hey everyone, it's Owen here from OTEC and today I will be unboxing a Radeon RX 550. Yes, the lowest end Polaris RX 500 series from AMD. Now this card is the XFX version. It's an XFX low profile card, in fact, as you can see here. So it's a half height card, which means that the card doesn't extend fully to the length of the PCIe slot covered on the back of the case. Instead, it's just half of it. That's why it's called half height low profile uh, card. So this would fit in like a low profile uh, Dell or HP uh, computers. So you could upgrade one of those old computers for like, I mean, you can get those for like under 200 bucks and you can stick one of these GPUs in and get quite an upgrade and game on it too. And so this one also has uh, like the auto fan stop thing which is I think is pretty unique considering this has quite a small cooler but yeah the box is actually quite plain not much of any marketing or features so yeah here it is uh, so why don't you just take a look inside so this is gonna be quite a simple packaging since this is a really cheap card this is uh, about $78 on Best Buy right now and it's the or it's 550 from XFX low profile and uh, it actually talks about downloading the latest driver from the, uh, oh, the website on amd.com which I think is nice since most companies don't say that so people often think they should install from the driver which you should never do unless you really have to so always the do download the latest one from the website and here's the user manual it's uh, well, it's actually kind of pretty much a uh, you know, basic GPU installation, not specific to this card, since you know you can see here, it's not even about this card. But yeah, you even have the warranty card in the back. And the card itself is also not packaged very well. I mean, like, it's bubble wrapped and it doesn't really move anywhere, considering it's really light, but still. Nothing is really holding it in place, so it could just kind of move around inside the packaging. But I don't think it should be a problem considering it's really light. But yeah, here it is the card itself. You can see that the cooler is really small. Like, I mean, sure, it's kind of two slots thick, and it's like the full height of two slots is the whole heatsink. So, you know, most graphics cards that are two slots are really have, they just have like a one slot tall heatsink and a one slot for fans. But this one has a one slot tall heatsink, although the heatsink itself is quite small. And it has a tiny fan on it. Um, looks to be like a 40 millimeter fan, but we can just measure it. And it's like a 45 millimeter fan. So it's quite small. And it, well, I've tested this, uh, this card for a little bit, and it isn't noisy at all. I mean, it's really quiet and it's it runs really cool. It's like in the low, uh, low 50s to high 50s, maybe in high loads. And maybe you can get it to low 60s if you really overclock it and push it, but you know, it's not a noisy card or a hot card by any means since you know the only way it draws power is from the PCIe slot, so it's limited to below 75 watts. And in fact, the power limit in the BIOS is just 36 watts. So this card only draws 36 watts from GPU core, which is right under here, and that is easily cooled by this heatsink and fan combo. And you can see what they mean by the half height since it's like way shorter than the PCIe slot but you know unfortunately they didn't include the half height adapter so I'm not sure what's the point of this card if they don't include it here since the point of the half height card is so that you can install it in a half height case but you know at this point without the bracket that's half height then might as well just buy a bigger card although this one's going really cheap for a 4 gigabyte RX 550 so this might be actually a compelling uh, option and you can see that the VRAM is also under the heatsink although the VRAM is not really cooled by anything it's not touching it so would have been nice if they have thermal pads under there since you know the heatsink is like it's a big block of aluminium so it doesn't go through so airflow doesn't get under there to the VRAM so that's a bit problematic but I mean it's really low power so I don't think it would get really that hot anyways but yeah here's the PCIe slot you can see like how small the card is compared to that and on the back you get like a display port 
Uh, so it supports 4K of course and also HDMI 2.0 I believe and also a DVI port which is you know DVI without um, analog just like all the newer cards so you wouldn't be able to use this card with a VGA monitor except if you use an active adapter and this card this specific card can overclock to 1380 MHz which is pretty insane for a Polaris card especially with a tiny cooler like a weak VRM and no voltage for uh, voltage setting support so this is on stock voltage it can hit 1380 MHz which is quite a big jump from 1200 MHz and the power consumption do rise a little bit but it's still really low and it still runs really cold and it isn't noisy at all so if you're looking for a cheap graphics card this might be a good option since it's only $78 on Best Buy although it's on sale so it might not last so if you want to just go ahead and buy one right now but yeah it's quite a nice little card actually it's better than I expected from XFX it's an RX 550 but yeah it only has like 512 cores so it's not that powerful it's way less than even the RX 560 which has uh, 1024 cores and the RX uh, 570 and uh, 580 are ba based on the biggest Polaris chips so 580 2304 and uh, 570 with 2048 so this is way smaller of a chip and that's why it has less power and also less cuda uh, less stream processors and less performance but I'm gonna say it works just fine and you can see the simplistic VRM setup just a two phase and one phase for the memory we're here but you know I wouldn't worry about it considering it's such a low power card but yeah anyways, that's it for this video thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video and if you do please leave a like and please click subscribe to see more of my future videos thanks for watching